What's up everybody, this is Leo with Keyprint Co. And in this episode, I wanna talk a little bit about direct-to-film transfers. Now, they have a lot of really cool applications in the printing industry, but specifically to print shops who have any type of DTG machine that have dealt with pre-treat, there's a very special application that you can achieve with direct-to-film transfers, and that's avoiding issues with pre-treat. So let me explain a little bit. If you've never used pre-treat, you might not know that some colors like orange, reds, and grays, and browns might discolor when you apply pre-treat. So you can get it in one of two areas. It might be when you apply the pre-treat directly on the shirt, or it might be when you're heat pressing to cure the pre-treat on the shirt, or any combination they're on before and after. The point is, you're gonna end up with a shirt that becomes discolored. And let me grab a quick example of that. Okay, so here's an example of a piece of apparel that was discolored when we applied pre-treat to it. And you might not be able to see it a whole lot too well, I'll try to get some close-up shots of it. But essentially what ended up happening was, we put pre-treat on it the same way we did any other type of apparel. You put pre-treat on it, the right amount for the thickness of the fabric, and then we heat pressed it. And as soon as we heat pressed it, it immediately started to change colors. And you can notice it the most on the edges. It's almost a lighter version of it. It very vaguely resembles the effect that you would get like if you bleached apparel and you intentionally wanted to discolor it. Except in this case, we obviously don't want to discolor it. We need to put the pre-treat down so that we can actually DTG on top of it. But if it discolors the apparel, it kind of defeats the whole purpose and apparently the apparel gets ruined. So one of the benefits that you're going to get with DTF is that with DTF, you don't have to use any pre-treat at all. So with DTF, you're printing directly onto a film obviously in reverse order, so you're gonna be printing color first and then white on top, the same way you typically would with like a screen print transfer. Once you print this DTF out and you already coat it with you know the adhesive powder and it's all cured and you know ready for application, then you just put it directly onto the apparel, heat press it, and then that's how it transfers the image onto the apparel. So there's no pre-treating stage at all. In fact, you completely skip over that entire stage. So that's gonna save you time of where you don't have to pre-treat the apparel, it's gonna save you money in where you don't have to pay someone to pre-treat the apparel or pay for the pre-treat itself. And it's gonna save you a lot of headaches in terms of discoloration and like making apparel not as great and retail ready as it could be if you use the DTF application. So that's the best part about DTF is that you don't have to use pre-treat in order for it to work. So let's say for example that you have like 100 black t-shirts, right? In DTG, you're gonna to have to take into consideration the pre-treat stage, right? So calculate roughly how long it's gonna take you to pre-treat it and to dry it. With DTF, you don't have to think about any of that. It just skips over it entirely. So when you have larger orders, it helps you save time, especially if you're on the time crunch, to just cut all of that stuff out, print out a bunch of DTF transfers, and apply them directly onto the apparel. So if you guys have an Epson F2100, I recommend checking out the video by All American. It's gonna show you a step-by-step -step on how to create these DTF transfers and then how to use them and apply them in your print shop. So with that said guys, if you enjoy this type of content, subscribe for more printing tips and tricks. And if you wanna go check out our Instagram, we got a bunch of stuff there that we're doing every single day. We'll give you guys some live updates on that. But meanwhile, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.